the types of CMM. As per the mechanical structure, CMM are classified into six types. One is cantilever, then the bridge type, which is having two types that is moving bridge and fixed bridge, then horizontal arm, gantry, and column. In all configurations of CMM, the probe moves in three perpendicular axes with respect to workpiece uh, that is x, y and z axis. In cantilever type, a cantilever beam uh, carries a vertical probe. The probe moves vertically uh, that is the z direction and this vertical probe can uh, slide along the face of the cantilever beam in horizontal axis and that is the y axis and also this beam can move in x direction that is perpendicular to y axis the cantilever type is suitable for measuring long thin parts since it can have a long table with relatively small measuring ranges in other two axes in moving uh, bridge type, the vertical probe is fixed on a, a moving bridge. So the bridge moves on the guideways provided on the table. And the movement of the bridge is our x-axis. And the vertical movement is the z1. That is the vertical movement of the probe head. Then the probe also sliding on the face of the beam. Uh, that is bridge and that is our uh, y-axis. This design uh, provides a reduced bending effect compared to cantilever type uh, but uh, the problem is that the eyeing of these uh, two legs of the bridge. The fixed bridge type is uh, designed to eliminate the eyeing problem in moving bridge type and uh, it is provides a high rigidity that is provided by moving the table the movement of the bridge is now transferred to movement of the tool so that is our x-axis and the other movements are the same as that of the previous type the column type is also known as universal measuring machines and this construction provides maximum rigidity and accuracy and the table movement provides both in uh, the x direction movements and y direction movements for the workpiece and the z direction is given for the prop head. The horizontal amp type is also known as a layout machine and it is having a moving arm uh, which carries the prop and that is in uh, y axis. The x-axis is provided by the movement of the column and uh, the z-axis is the vertical movement of this horizontal lamp type. So this uh, provides an advantage of providing a large area that is unobstructed work area. So this is generally used for measurement of automobile parts. In gantry type, uh, both the x-axis and y axis are overhead uh, that means we can place large work pieces on the area only z axis is there so the probe is fixed on the z axis and uh, the image shows the application of gantry type cmm the cmm controlling includes manual drive that is purely manual drive manual drive with the computer assisted data processing motor drive with the computer assisted uh, data processing then direct com computer controlled or a dcc the manual control system is the simplest one uh, it uses a free floating uh, prop that can be controlled by manually by our arms and uh, the props are uh, moving from one location to other location manually and the difference among contact positions are the measurements. In manual computer assisted, the movements are manual only, but some uh, of uh, 
applications we are using a computer that is uh, making zero setting is one application changing sign converting unit printing out data these kind of uh, small small uh, processes are done using computer that is known as manual computer assisted cmo in motorized computer assistant the computer assistant is the same as in the previous case uh, but the movement of the in a moment of the probe in x y is a directions are actually motorized that is not manual and a joystick is provided to drive the machine axis so x y is an axis uh, joystick is there so using that joysticks we can uh, move the probe in all the axis in direct computer control or a dcc all the movements and all other functions are controlled by computer only no manual intervention is there uh, here we are using cad data uh, that is previously made cad data is fed to the machine and that will determine the path of the prop and uh, the prop sensor will move and contact the surf workpiece and collecting measurement data everything will be controlled by the computer in DCC, the sequence of operations uh, may be uh, like this. The workpiece, the operator is placing the workpiece on a fixer. Then he runs a stored program. Then the CNC automate, sorry, CMM automatically collect the data points and generate the output reports. The program of DCC machine has three components that is uh, movement commands, uh, measurement commands and formatting commands. And finally we can conclude the CMM working uh, like this. After placing the workpiece on a machine table, a probe is used to measure different points on it by mapping the X, Y, Z coordinates. Then the probe operates either manually via in operator or automatically via in control system that's where I discussed earlier. Uh, then these points are then uploaded to a computer interface where they can be analyzed using modeling software example CAD and then a regression algorithms for further developments. In modern uh, CMMs instead of uh, three axes that is X, Y, Z it will have five axis movements and that is additional uh, rotation about this uh, probe axis that is uh, rotation about a vertical axis and uh, in a horizontal axis so it will be forming five axis so that will increase the speed of measurements and also the accuracy levels thanks for watching